Mm. Yeah. Hi there. I am near Bremen. It's just 20, 20 kilometers to Bremen. You see that right behind me, but, but I'll give you a better view uh, later. So, this place where I am, this is called Hoher Berg, High Hill. Well, it is high, but it's just high for northern Germany, so especially for Bremen. So, Bremen is the German state uh, with the lowest level above sea. So Bremen is just average height 10 meters above sea level. So this hill here, uh, this is, I don't know exactly, I think 58 uh, meters uh, above sea level. So you see, it's a high hill. <laughs> so uh, this goes back to the Ice Age. So Ice Age drove a lot of sand and other stuff, uh, stones and so on here at this point, uh, right from the Weezer and uh, so that's why, why this, this, uh, this hill, uh, yeah, it's just here. So, and when there is a hill right on a flat landscape, so that's always something uh, like a magnet to people. So people come here and they came here uh, more than 3,000 years ago, they came here. So they found a gold treasure right here at the hill from the Bronze Age. Um, I sh I'll show you around a little bit later. So, and since then, there were always people around uh, that hill. No matter if that was, I don't know, 100 years uh, after Christ or medieval times. And even in the 20th century, I was an important hill. Why was that? That hill was used um, as a military base for nuclear weapons. Of course, it's a high hill, so they had their radar stations here. Uh, that was US military here. They had their radar station and uh, you know their nuclear missiles nearby. And so that could have directed them to whatever point. Uh, so, but since the end of the Cold War, um, this, I don't know, there's a peaceful hill now. So there's a small playground for children and so on. So, why did I come here? There's a reason for that. So, I thought, why not go to the high hill if you talk about Himalaya? <laughs> so, you see, that's poor, it's really poor. Um, yeah, I give you that <laughs> so far. It is as high or as near I can get to the Himalaya as I can get here around. So, there's a reason for that. There's new tobacco in town. And uh, this tobacco, the name is Himalaya Blend. So, it's a tobacco distributed by farm. So, major German company. Uh, there's a video on the channel about that if you're interested in found. So a uh, German company, and they do a lot of pipes, good pipes, uh, but they do also tobacco. Well, they don't produce that themselves, but they are the distributor. So this tobacco uh, is done by Kohlhausen, and it's uh, an aromatic. But I tell you, I really tell you, this is, this is as far as aromatic goes. Uh, so <laughs> it's really a heavy aromatic. Um, I'm going to read you what they say about the tobacco. I have to translate that in German. Uh, so it's an excellent and um, soft mixture. Uh, that's uh, a lot of black lavender. I don't have to tell you that it's windy here. <laughs> could just, I could just catch the camera. Oh, lucky me. I have to watch out for this. Give me just a moment to fix that.
down it. I think that will do the trick. So just fixed the camera on again. Nothing happened to that. So I just saw that slipping and <laughs> grabbed it. So yeah, that's that's the odds. Pipe presenters odds. Anyway, we, we don't want to be, uh, I don't know, don't want to be affected by that. So, I was talking about Himalaya blend. So, uh, that's the tobacco done by Kohlhaas. Uh, and it's really a heavy aromatic. And we all know when it comes to the aromatic, uh, the quality is not always the same. So, you have aromatics. They don't really come to you as a, I don't know, as something that we would call a really smokable tobacco. This is often for the aromatics. So, but Kohlhauser is a very, it's a pretty fine company. So, and they, they really can handle these aromatics. So they use good tobaccos and they add then uh, the aroma to it. Nevertheless, there's something you want to care about this tobacco. But first, let me finish the description of the tobacco. So I, again. So they say, uh, that's an excellent uh, and soft mixture. Uh, there's a lot of black Cavendish, and there's some golden Virginia. Uh, um, some different cuts, uh, they made that to have, uh, it, to keep it burning uh, pretty well. So, but, now the aroma, so they don't say on the tin, but there's a slightly citrus note, uh, there's a cherry note, uh, and the main, the main note is goji. So when I heard that the first time, I thought, whoa, what the heck is goji? So uh, to be honest, I, I had to do some research on that. So this is a cherry-like berry uh, from Asia. So, but it's also known here in, in, in Central Europe, uh, and I think in the US, and, and, and I think nearly everywhere. Um, so we call that wolfsberry. So what goji is all, also a common name for that. So I don't, I'm perhaps I'm just calling me ignorant. So I don't I, I, I didn't know that so far. So anyway, uh, and that's the main taste. But it's it's close to cherry in some ways. Just a lot of sweetness. So for me, they don't say there's vanilla in it. So uh, but yeah, it's a cherry vanilla uh, with a, with a little hint of exotic. Very, very aromatic. Mm. I show you the tobacco. Hope the wind, the wind doesn't blow that away. So, damn it. There's some tribute to the wind here. I think we, we have to get, give something back to nature. Give something back. That's what it's all about. Oh, 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 oh. Just a short view, guys. Otherwise, there's nothing left in the tin. So, very windy. I hope you, you, you could even, you could understand me. So, hope that works. So, tobacco really looks pretty nice. And it smells fantastic. But, if I close that tin now, I put it back in my bag. And if I come home, the bag will just smell smell as goji or as as a goji cherry mixture just to describe you how much aroma is in that it's really a heavy aromatic nevertheless it is a good smoke it smokes so it burns pretty well the taste is mm, the taste is delicious if you like aromatics and uh, sweet aromatics uh, it's really delicious is it still tobacco I don't know so but it's anyway delicious. But yeah, now comes the, th the thing you won't want to think about. Be careful with that. So it is one of these tobaccos, of these aromatics, uh, that likes to give you uh, some ghost crossover in the pipe. So be careful with your pipe. Um, perhaps you use a corn cob for that. Oh, that would be really, that would be a nice combination. So in the summer, having a corn cob. It's really sweet uh, tobacco on an afternoon. It's good tobacco, anyway. Mm. Or, 
as I do, I use my merch on for that, so I don't have any ghost then. Um, so the price, I forgot about to talk about the price. So it's 12 euros, 50 cent. 12 euros, 50 cent. That's not cheap, guys. Uh, but yeah. it's something out of the ordinary. So perhaps spending spending some cent more on that. But that's a decision you have to make on your own. So yeah. There are a lot of windmills around here. Producing clean energy. So there's a lot of wind today. Brings a lot of energy. Oh, anyway. There must be something good to it. Uh, so gonna show you a little bit around. Uh, I don't think we can really see Bremen in the back. I'm gonna try that, but it's a little bit foggy. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's it about the Goji tobacco. So uh, the Himalaya here from High Hill. Anyway, guys, hope you are well. So take care. Perhaps you have some sun around, some good weather. Hope so. And perhaps see you again. Okay, I think we better keep going. Someone's coming. Uh, uh, okay. Damn it. Hmm, that's it. Take care.